Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way because that is what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. That's that whole deal, folks. Step into yourself, visualize it, and fly with it. It's a beautiful thing. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials close up 401, NASDAQ up 209, S&P's up 27, gold contract up $3.20 at 1230. You get the silver market down a penny, $14.66. Light sweet crude, flat, $67.11 a barrel. Notes and bonds, we had the 10-year note down, well, they're both flat right now. Uh, they're, they're, they rejected lower price out here today. Last two days, folks, they went higher. They had the volume behind the move, all of the above. What's going on out here right now, we get fast markets, and we're going to bring you right through them real quickly. King dollar, King dollar up 188 ticks, 96,370. Lots of movement after the close. I'm going to start with Amazon. So Amazon comes out with numbers. Amazon closed at $1,782. That baby right now is trading at $1,700. Google, we go take a look at Google. Uh, Google closed at a price point of $1,095. That's trading at $1,058. Intel, Intel come out with numbers. So those two down, downtown. Intel closed at $44.31. That's trading up $2 um, yeah, at $46.22. Uh, big numbers all over the place. Now, if we go over into the market in general, this is what you have. NDX 100, bottom line, yeah, you had, you had to move out there, 77 million, but guess what? You get down on 102, you come down on 143, bottom line is you get another dead cat bounce out here. Um, you know, we'll see where this shakes out tomorrow, but my take on it, guess what? Uh, this market is having a hard time holding a bid, period. We go take a look at the SPY. What you have with the SPY, same type of setup. Uh, we're up with 129 million out here today. That's after ca crashing down with 277, 274, big numbers. And in fact, if you do go look at, it doesn't matter what indice you want to bring up right now. You can see the Qs closed at 171 dollars and six cents. They're trading 168.61 right now. Let's see if the spy was affected. The Qs would make sense they're affected. The SPY, yeah, the SPY is down uh, $2 also, uh, $1.80. The SPY closed up $4.76 at $2.70. That's trading uh, $2.68. If we go to the small caps and take a look at the small caps, IWM closed at uh, $149.11. One, uh, That's trading down $0.90 cents at the $148.27. So now let's go say, now let's go take a look and see uh, exactly what uh, Amazon has to say. So this is a big one on Amazon. I mean, it, it, this is uh, unusual in the aspect that they missed revenue. So estimate in revenue was 57.1 billion. They did 56.6 billion. Um, the earnings per share, um, they, hit, they hit the earnings per share beyond belief. But they, uh, the market's looking saying, hey man, revenue is a big deal. Um, they, uh, Revenue, earnings per share, rather, consensus was uh, 314. They came in with uh, 575. So that number was a monster. There's no doubt about it. Uh, let's see. AWS. Where's the AWS in here? Okay. Okay. Let's give me a second. Let's try this one here. Okay. So, uh, and uh, this is what's also going on. So Amazon's Forward guidance is also a bit light. The company is guiding between 66.5 billion and 72 in sales. Um, Amazon's growth rate, uh, that is a growth rate of 10 to 20 percent, and thus far, Amazon has been uh, pushing a growth rate of 29 percent. Um, let's see, so uh, this is going to be, let's see, I believe this is a quote from Bezos. Uh, we're not going to be slowing down. Amazon business is adding its customers rapidly, including large educational institutions, local governments, and more than half of the Fortune 500 companies. These organizations are choosing Amazon business because it increases transparency into business spending and streamlines purchasing with uh, increased control. The team is doing a fantastic job 
uh, and innovating for customers. Uh, Amazon expanded its grocery delivery from Whole Foods for its prime customers during the quarter. The service is now available in 60 cities, the company said. So that's a big number. The, uh, okay, so let's go to Google. Let's see what Google has to say. Well, here, we'll just check back in and see where Amazon's trading. So you're trading down 100, and now it's 1674. So you're trading down 120 dollars, and we're up 118 today. So if we take a look at this technically, you know, you came off the highs out here of 2050. That's when it was worth uh, one trillion dollars. It looks to me like you got game here. Yeah, it got game down to about 14. Well, this this is interesting because 1638 would be the first place that you get volume to hang on to, 1638. Yeah, so 1638 is probably game tomorrow. We're at 1670. Let's go over to Google and we take a look at Google. So Google closed at 1,095. Uh, that is trading at 1,051. And let's see what Google has to say now. Okay. Okay, let's see. This is from the CFO. Uh, our business continues to have strong momentum globally led by mobile search uh, and many of our products to help billions of people every day. The advertising revenue. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so this is, this is, uh, came in nearly flat. That's, that's, that's not a good deal. Okay, so uh, they, they did $24.05 billion, and that's what they did a year ago. They did $24.06 billion a year ago. It, it, so let me look at this baby here. So you're down. We hit the low yesterday of uh, 1,048. You're trading 1,057. Yeah, we're gonna we'll get some more numbers for you out here, folks. But uh, the bottom line is that the both both of those uh, I would say big big disappointments. The uh, particularly the if Amazon's not growing its ad business, it's that's I mean if uh, Google's not out growing its ad business, that's gonna be trouble in paradise. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.